So how long have you been uh, painting? For 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, how to call the lap, 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 cooked rice, oh. egg. Oh, no, I haven't had that. If you order, they, they, they will draw with using ketchup. Oh. 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 Acupuncture rock for it. I made that up, by the way. So how you are running the me? Uh, am I learning? Mm. Uh, I'm not actively learning, but uh, I uh, was. Just it's like naturally, yeah. Uh, hey, okay. I, I took like four semesters in college. One, so four, four. Oh, four, four classes. Oh, hey, a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> My teacher was named uh, Suzuki. That his that, that, that name was Suzuki. Mm -hmm. So. I studied Japanese in uh, Riverside, uh, California. Okay. And so we have different pronunciation for one country character. So for example, for this book also can be pronounced as Sumi, so they are the same meaning. Oh. Yeah. And art, about art materials. So, uh, first of all, to me, uh, the 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 center in the center, the Hi. black black one. Uh, it's black ink, and uh, it's made of shoot and in flower, animal group, and uh, there are two. Big uh, uh, style of uh, art which use uh, black ink in Japan and white calligraphy which you challenge yesterday. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, and, oh, today. Yeah, today. Hi. Today. <laughs> yeah, and the other one is this painting, to me a painting. And I heard that uh, generally uh, brown is color, uh, but uh, it's still black. And it, it's made of lake or sesame seed oil hey. that makes it brownish rock. And we painters use blue to me because it's made of a uh, suit of pine trees. Suit so of pine, pine, pine trees. Pine trees, yeah. Oh. So burn oil like this or burn uh, pine trees uh -huh. and collect soot on the leaf. Oh. Yeah, and the, Knead it with animal glue and shape it in, in circle or square and dry slowly and add some pigments to decorate them. And for making brush, there are many animal parts uh, and to draw flower petals, we use soft brushes and to draw uh, hard textures we use uh, beer, beer uh, parts or something very hard. Oh. So this is one of my painting. So you can see I use soft brushes wow. for draw the body of this gold piece. Yeah. And to draw some rocks uh, or trunk. Uh, yeah, you, you will use hot brushes. And ink stone, yeah, you can cut from mountains. And there are several locations you can cut them. One of the famous ones is called Fate called, Fate called Ogasu, which is partly damaged by the tsunami. Oh, the uh, but the hard people retrieved them from. Uh, beach. Hi. Yeah. So, so, so the stones. Yeah. yeah. Well, or stones. In the, yeah. Do they wash the away in the water? They yeah. washed away. Yeah, and into the beach. Oh, uh, wow. So people try to 
collect them from the bee. Oh. After it take uh, them slightly waterproof, so uh, the appearance of the ink black ink would be right. like this. But after that, washi papers are uh, imported from China and developed in Japan. Hey. So the papers are naturally not waterproof, so the appearance would be different. And oh. sometimes we spread water with it to make it waterproof. And so if you need to, so initially, um, the, the, our cars always have been imported from China okay. and uh, the initial example of the main painting is like this. There are many texts in Buddhism mm -hmm. and one is esoteric Buddhism and because they some have uh, many arms, some have oh. many Head, yeah. So it's very complicated. So they have to uh, make illustrations to uh, bring them back to the farm. Oh. They, they went to monks. Went to yeah, must must, farm. must be very tedious. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, hard uh, to yeah. to keep them like. Yeah. Do they do they take yeah. do they, they have to keep, do they take them apart or do they no they can't do that no, right? They they copy they. they in China oh. and bring them back to Japan and Japanese sculptors make it. Oh based on so their based on okay so yeah. they can't destroy it by they can't bring it over and destroy it by bringing it over but they can cop like copy it as much as good as possible. Yeah hundred hundred copy it. Oh wow. That's amazing. It takes yeah. a lot of work. Yeah so there are not so many paintings illustrations like this. Some scholars say mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a root of Japanese manga culture. Oh. Yeah, court novels enjoy to see them. That's one of the first uh, manga type. Mm. Yeah, you, you can see they are enjoying the, the smallest thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see yeah. the. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, the uh, story, kind yeah. of, you know, what they're doing. Oh, we love it. So I and they, have, they also have personalities too, like yeah, uh, on the yeah, faces. Yeah. yeah. Are they dancing? Facial expressions are so cute. Yeah. <laughs> like them on the ground right there. Yeah. So, <laughs> the uh, culture uh, in, the, in the age of court nobles or emperors oh. in this country. Oh. And they do samurai things, samurai period things. And because they many samurai uh, uh, loved the Zen Buddhism, hey. and and in Buddhism in Zen Zen monks, uh, it's a history that Zen monks express their state of enlightenment through their paintings or calligraphy. Yeah. So these are examples of. The, so there are now many legendary figures created in China. Oh. Uh, so they are all mostly, most of them live in far from the city. Yeah. And live freely. So that's the state of enlightenment. Oh. You can see the, how the semi painting technique was developed if you compare with this. Yeah. Mm. And there are many uh, demo painters. They develop the uh, painting techniques from 16th to 19th, yeah, to in 16th century. And from 16th to 19th century, there are basically five big uh, painting styles. First one uh, have the longest history. Uh, it, so it started from the age of Emperor or Court Nobles. So their style is very loyal, oh. as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. And next, uh, some light of this style because wow. they are very bold and masculine. Oh. Powerful.
and uh, the others outside is called the Limpa School. Limpa. Yeah. Limpa. Yeah, there are three famous figures in Limpa School. But actually, they don't know each other. So that is the first generation. And then Colin just found so that's the painting and he respected his style and so he copied his style but they don't know each other so only the spirit spirit of limpa was in, inherited to the next generation mm. and next generation poison so actually poison didn't know calling but he respected his style uh -huh. and actually the back side of this panel hmm. who is painted this painting hmm. so you can see uh, that the, green, the green one looks like Blanca from Street Fighter sorry? <laughs> have you noticed the green one looks like a look, little bit like Blanca? Boda, yeah, Bla Boda. Uh, Blanca from Street Fighter <laughs> 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 no? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Street Fighter, Blanc Street Fighter. B Blanca, ah, Blanca, yeah, yeah, green, yeah, green. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if Street Fighter got the like uh, idea from those paintings <laughs> 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 because uh, after all, Street Fighter did come from Japan, so ah. uh, why not? And the back side of this thunderbolt, he drew a water. Oh. Because the thunderbolt created the water. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and next, Maria Masco, uh, yeah, she is the founder. He was very nice man, so he has many children. And next, uh, there is Nanga School. They Nanga School. Nanga School. The painters of Nanga School are often loved. They Zen or Taoism imported from China, so you can see the influence from Taoism on them. Oh. And they they were also po poet poem poet poet yeah. Hey. So they often the painting for poem. They they are uh, poems beside their painting. Oh okay. Mm. And uh, uh, one of the uh, figure. Uh, which inherited the uh, Nanga style is uh, Izan, Shim Shimomura. Izan. Shimomura. Shimomura. Oh, yes. So he did na Nanga style. Yeah, and uh, the, his pupil Ukai Uchiyama, and his pupil Tomego. This is my teacher. Oh, that's oh, yeah. oh, this? She's your teacher? Uh, she was my teacher. She passed away. Oh, know, wow. Long ago, but yeah. Yeah, good. Oh, must be an honor. Yeah, she was quite old when I oh. started. Yeah, so I was the last, last pupil of her. Oh, last yeah. pupil. Wow, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And there are some influences from Europe and China, of course, in the field. Wow. And as you know, Japan limited its diplomacy from uh, many countries, but continued uh, trade with the Netherlands and China. Oh. So we imported European culture through Netherlands. Okay. okay. So that, that was the age of uh, those studies in Europe. So this uh, detail uh, painting influenced Japanese painters. Yeah, I see a little bit of uh, Rome in that uh, picture right there. It reminds me of a Rome, and, uh, maybe Greece or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So in Japanese tradition, we paint it like this. We call it bad, bad eyes view. But after we imported European paintings, uh, uh, Japanese artists painted uh, like this. Uh, they adapted to perspective paintings. And Chinese painter painted very realistic and detailed, so yeah. many Japanese influenced by those paintings. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I will introduce some interesting topics about the new paintings. Sometimes rich merchants invited painters to their houses 
and uh, ask them to paint uh, improvisationally. So paint a, a spread paper on such tatami and paint it on this, on uh, painted uh, painting. Um, uh, when they have, then, then the Mahjong, this Mahjong have party. Oh. Yeah, so it's like an entertainment. So sometimes you can see the tatami lines on paper, oh. on painting, because they spread paper on tatami and paint it directly. Oh. <laughs> so it's a tatami master. They are yeah, tatami master. Paint. Oh. And yeah, it's amazing because uh, a paint, a paint, a different uh, painting, uh -huh. only using his, his fingers. Oh. Wow, that's pretty good. And sometimes this much on white, I the famous painters to paint on their kimono. Mm -hmm. and enjoy fashion shows. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, in this kimono, it's a uh, collection of Tokyo National Museum. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And another topic, there are lots of painting subjects. So, in temple or castle, uh, uh -huh. there is a lot of room. And uh, according to the rank of the it's room, painted painters paint uh, subjects which uh, it's good for the rank. Oh. So the highest is always an object to me a painting. Uh, example is this. So the light uh, down, the light, bottom right uh, is the lowest rank and uh, going uh, higher and higher and the uh, left uh, up left is Hi. the highest room. Oh. So if the guest, uh, the guest will come with their, their following men, you know, samurai will, will come with his men and so his men will wait Hey. In the lowest room, in the lowest rank room, uh -huh. and only the boss will go to the highest rank room. <laughs> so you can see. So only the boss will see it. Yeah, so only the boss will see the Sumie landscape painting in the highest oh. <laughs> Yeah, so the. the Following men, we only, only see the bus. <laughs> <laughs> what about that one? Oh, that's nice. So, yeah, I see the next room. Yeah, and this is the middle rank room. Uh, there are many uh, legendary figures in Chinese folklore, folklore or Zen uh, story or Taoism story. Uh -huh. So, this is one thing. In the highest rank room. Uh, yeah, now it's just the same thing. And back side of this room, there is uh, this painting, and after it connects to the real landscape, oh. just outside of this room, wow. there is a yeah, artificial painting. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and now we come to the techniques so which we will try today. Hi. Hi, we will make three different forms of graph as far. And uh, the way of holding brush is, uh, there are two ways of holding, how to hold your brush. Is. And uh, yeah, it's always uh, important to draw with density, contrast, uh, gradation. So like this, uh, you, you will try this today. So yeah, so you, you can see to uh, the body of this eggplant is only will be only by one stroke. Yeah. Yeah. And 
Uh, is it similar? Is it like uh I was just similar. noticing that it seems similar to uh seems similar to the kanji like the way like you just kinda of do the strokes. Mm, mm, it's and very similar. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's the same thing here. Uh, you draw on you draw but only one stroke. To draw this trunk, and other techniques for hot vocals to express volume slightly, engine pitch and copy to mean, oh. yeah, reading and fading. Oh. So, mix those techniques, you can draw those drums. Oh. And Totokuma, you will use Mikawa, which is animal glue. Mm -hmm. So to paint this mountain uh, uh, after noon, mm -hmm. uh, you will paint uh, you will paint animal glue mm -hmm. uh, as in transparent. Oh. And uh, then cover with black ink. Then oh. the part you draw with Mikawa animal glue will be remained as a white as white color. Oh. The green of so basically whatever you paint black and then the white just stays the way it is the, the, the non-paint part it's just the non-paint part so that will equal maybe snow oh uh, yeah 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 okay, that's yeah how to draw here then First of all, you will uh, draw many lines and add, uh, add, add gradation on it mm -hmm. to draw those hairs here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I know what. Uh, next, uh, I'm missing the same technique called Tsujime no Ki. So at first, uh, one stroke and add another stroke, but the water will spread faster than black ink. So the water makes the white line uh, between the black stroke. Oh. Can you see? Yeah, I yeah, see yeah. So the white lines are automatically created. I can see, I, I'm really starting to see how, why, I know it's just like not the same subject, but it can't, maybe, but I'm, I'm starting to see why like manga artists like stay, but um, for the most part, uh, black and white, uh, because I, 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 I've always noticed that Ameri American comics, you know, they, they uh, do color a lot, and then the Japanese, I've noticed that they do like just black and white, but they have their, uh, the textures they have different textures it's still in black and white but they have the textures and, and pattern uh -huh, patterns uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. and then on the covers they may have like maybe like color you know just since they look uh -huh. but um for the most part they have the, the most manga is i mean for the most part it's black and white yeah, so i'm wondering if that true. has anything yeah. to do with uh yeah, the history yeah yeah so it makes sense right like yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no other reason why they would do it. Yeah, Maybe yeah. they're keeping that tradition. Yeah. Of, and I, I've always loved the I'm style. Not just me, right? Yeah, I've always. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> but I, I think about it sometimes because I, I come from America and we have the American comic books. And then the Japanese, it's like, wow, they kept their black and white style. And, yeah, uh, and also, we, some, we often leave, we, we, don't, we often doesn't draw the outline mm -hmm. a lot. Okay. Yeah, you know, but uh, if you see American comics, all outlines are yeah, yeah. precisely drawn. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. I think it's also the difference. Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I also collaborate with fashion design, fashion designer. So the so these are your designs? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, Pimbe no Kimono. I collaborated with Pimbe. Oh, that's really good. Thank you. Or do I sometimes do a performance? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
more power with uh, the artist, like dancers. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I painted oh. this on the stage, it's taking only 15 minutes. Oh, so I was, I, was, I, was just, I was just about to ask you that, if you do that. Like, I was gonna, I, I thought, kind of out there, but um, it, I was gonna, oh, do you, do you paint like live? You know, like when they do that live painting and they do it like yeah, in front of an like audience? Painting. Yeah, yeah, oh, on the stage. So, so you wrote like that, I know you wrote like that. Yeah, it means like bro, it's like lifestyle, you know. Like I didn't know you had oh. a lifestyle like that. Oh, or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and actually, the, the event, this particular event, was uh -huh. organized by Americans. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pretty cool. But it, it was in Tokyo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I painted this for my a pupil of my painting class. Oh, so, okay. So it's still in Harare, but. Yeah, I painted this for taking only nine minutes. Oh wow, that's, that's impressive. Nine minutes. That took me like three years. <laughs> no, never. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Let's try. Alright, we can start with the lecture and we're gonna continue. Yeah.